Today I'm going to show you guys how I made the center console out of aluminum for my Jeep TJ. Alright, so here's the one that I've ran in my Jeep for probably three or four years. I made this out of some light steel, welded every single edge, and then grinded it down to get a nice corner. This actually worked pretty good. I've used it actually as a cooler for probably three to four years and it works really good. The only issue is I want to have something that's more insulated. This has no insulation in it. Besides underneath, I put some spray foam on the bottom just to keep like transmission and transfer case heat down. A couple cup holders and then I got some built-in storage up front here. All right, so what I have here is this is gonna be the side piece. I've got two of these um, and I did not cut this out. Where I got my metal from, I had them go ahead and cut the template out. All I did was took them um, I made this out of cardboard, the whole center console, the way I wanted it to be, uh, both sides, and then all the way around the top and bottom. And they actually cut it out for me. Now, if you don't have somebody that can cut it out for you, you can just take a grinder and trace it out and then cut it out the way you want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some aluminum square tubing. Um, it's not very thick. It is thick enough to where you can drill and tap it, though. Um, that way you don't have to put nuts in the back. So the bottom is probably the easiest part to do so I'm just going to go do that first. This does not need to be perfect as far as your corners if you got a little bit of gap there from one piece of the metal to the next it's not going to hurt anything um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to line this here I'm actually going to take it a little bit past because um, I don't know exactly how that bend's going to do or where it's going to be precisely because uh, all I'm doing is putting it over the edge of the table and I'm just going to push down on it. So I'm going to take it a couple inches past and then find my band and just put a little mark there. So I got my piece cut, so I went ahead and flipped this over. This is going to be the actual outside of the um, center console. The reason I'm doing that is I want to put this down here. Like I said, you can see I cut that a little short there. I cut a little short down here. Um, just to bring them the ends down below it. All I'm going to do is get this to the edge. Just kind of trace a line like that. This way I know where that, um, where that square tube is going to be on the bottom. I want roughly four inches apart between each one. You don't want them too far apart to where this is going to kind of bow around, but you also don't need them real close either. So I'm going to go mark those out, center punch them, drill them, and then tap them. The reason I did that, like I said, that way I know where this is going to be underneath to make sure I get it fairly centered, and then I'll clamp it together and just drill and tap to both um, pieces of metal, make it a lot easier. I know I want one roughly one inch from both edges, so we're going to do that one first. And then what I do is I find center and then I'll just throw probably one in here and then two in this one.
All right, so both sides are done. Next step I'm gonna do is cover the top and then obviously cover the bottom. Got some aluminum here. My plan is to do one piece kind of on this bottom edge. I'll do that first, that way it kind of has my width. And then I'm gonna cover the rest with one solid piece, hopefully. All right, so we got both sides on. Now we just gotta cover the top. This is gonna be a little more difficult. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet with these bends. I'm thinking maybe if I just screw it, I'm hoping I can just kind of press it around. So I had drilled the holes, put the bolts in the back. The idea is to hopefully just pull this down. I'm hoping it'll fall that bend. You got this mark here, this is where the door is going to be. It's going to come all the way up to here. So really all I got to do is bend this and then attach it here and then the door will go on top of that. So I got the outside of the door on. Now this door comes as a kit. Um, you can get these doors anywhere. I got this one on Speedway Motors uh, website, which I'll show you guys the number at the end of this video. Um, but it comes with this outside ring, this mechanism here, which is actually where your locks go through, and then a hinge, and then it comes with a door. Now I got a black door. The reason I went black is because if I don't like it, I can just sand it down, which actually this ring was black and I actually sanded it down. I think I'm gonna keep the black door for now. Like I said, the reason I went black, so I had a choice, put the black on there, just kind of break up the aluminum look, and then if I don't like it, I'll just sand it down, make it all look aluminum, um, the silver color. So I'm gonna go mount this door. Like I said, these doors come in different sizes. This one particular comes in two sizes. Um, I think this is a little over maybe 13 or 14 inches long and it's eight inches wide, which is pretty much the, as far um, wide as you can go between the seats. And then they also have one that's like six by six. The reason I went with this one, just 
because when you open it up, you're going to have a lot more room in there to get stuff out. So next I'm going to install the lock. Now the way these work is it's got a spring and you put this on so that this part is lower and then I'll screw it to here or bolt it and then what that does is I can adjust it, um, the tension of the lock by tightening this bolts up to where this part of the spring will actually raise and lower and what it does is to lock it you'll push this down, twist it and then it's going to go down in there grab a hold of that and then lock against that. The reason I went with this is because when it's locked this will be completely flush and all you'll need is a penny or something like that, just something straight to get in there to turn that. What I don't want is something really easy to where this thing comes open. Uh, if I get the Jeep on its side or anything like that, I want to make sure everything's contained. And this is the best thing that I've seen as far as locks uh, go that didn't have a key or something like that. All right, so I went ahead and threw the center console in there. It's not bolted down anything. I'm not sure I'm gonna mount it yet. Possibly I might just drill a couple holes through the bottom, some big fender washers, and bolt it right to the floor. Um, long term, I'm actually gonna turn this into a cooler. I'm gonna insulate it, uh, maybe put some dividers in there. Kind of got the dash all finished out. It's not perfect. Um, there are some some areas where it doesn't line up perfectly, but I need to go over and just kind of straighten it up. Just kind of some finish touches. I uh, got all the switches up there. One thing you'll notice is I do not run a heater control. I actually wired up the heater control to where it's full blast, hot heat, and then I put this last switch for just on and off. Um, and obviously all the rest are lockers, um, lights, and the winch. Here's the door that I actually used from Speedway Motors. Like I said, there's a lot of doors out there. This was the best one in my opinion for this setup just because of the width of the door. It fits right in between the seats. As you can see, it's pretty tight there. You really can't get any kind of bigger door uh, that's going to work properly. And obviously the locks was the biggest selling point. Just like so, need to cut these bolts off. <clears throat> I only have one size bolt, so they're kind of long. As you can see, very clean looking, lots of room. Like I said, my long term goal, since it's almost winter time, so I'm not going to worry about it. But before next summer, I want to go ahead and insulate this and make this my cooler. Mainly because I do not like carrying a cooler, I don't like strapping it down. I like to have my Jeep set up the same way every time. Just in case there are passengers, I don't have to worry about moving stuff out of the way. And then on this console up here, I just did one cup holder since there's holding not a whole lot of room. I got my BMN BM shifter. Just actually just drilled a hole with a hole saw. And then this actually comes with the shifter. It's actually just a boot for the shifter itself and the transmission. But since this is so low, I actually just cut that hole and then brought that up through there. And since it's a short shifter, this doesn't really move that much. And then got my cable shifter for the transfer case. Thanks for watching. If you got questions or comments, let me know.